Many new entrepreneurs feel overwhelmed starting a new business. This video will share some great resources and help you organize your questions into common business categories so you can find the right answers from the right sources quickly. Let's start with the basic requirements to turn your idea into reality. You will need a formally structured business. In Alberta, the three most common types of business structure are sole proprietorship, partnership, and incorporation. Paperwork filing is a privatized service with several providers able to help you file your documents with the government of Alberta. They are registry agents, paralegals, legal firms, and accounting firms. The cost to register can be wide-ranging as this is an uncapped government service fee. In Alberta, the Government of Canada business number is automatically assigned to your new business when you register it. The business number is just like your personal SIN, only it's a nine-digit number assigned by the federal government to identify your business instead of you personally. You'll refer to your business number on any communication you have with the CRA about GST, corporate tax, payroll, and importing and exporting. You'll also need this number to bid on federal government contracts. You can learn more about the business number by visiting canada.ca and searching business number. Sometimes your business will need permits and licenses. Business licenses are granted by the municipality in which you live and work. Check your local municipal website or call to find out about any special business licenses required and the fees to register. If you're a member of a professional association, your association may require your business to comply with its regulations. To learn more about any special permits or licenses needed in Alberta, visit servicealberta.ca and search Get a Business License. Your business will collect money and deposit it into a bank account separate from your personal account. It's important to shop around for good rates for your merchant credit card accounts and for a bank account manager who will work with you to understand your business as it grows. Account managers are a free resource for you and a good account manager will help you monitor the health of your business, introduce you to other lenders, and guide you to hidden financial products to help you manage your business. Now that you have your structure in place, Let's organize all those other questions you may have into some basic business categories. You can download our resource guide that accompanies this video to learn more. Planning. Putting the pieces of your business plan together can be challenging. Organizations like Community Futures and Business Link provide free and low-cost support to help you every step of the way. Human resources. Any questions about hiring, training, organizing teams, and managing people belong to this category. Operations are the systems you need behind the scenes to move your product or service from production to delivery. This includes items such as the physical space you need, equipment required, building permits, inventory, and more. Finance deals with how to track the flow of money in and out of your company, how to access funding from lenders, how to pay yourself, and how to comply with CRA tax filing requirements are questions that belong here. Marketing involves all the processes needed to attract customers to your business. This includes website development, social media, e-commerce, branding your business, and protecting your brand with trademarks. Sales. Do you struggle to get people to buy from you even if they seem interested? The process of turning a marketing lead into a happy customer is called sales. Download the resource list included with this video to learn more about each aspect of your new venture. Enlist the help of a business link or community futures advisor in your area for information on planning, expanding, or financing your business. So, what are you waiting for?